Welcome back. Uh, tell you, I've been real tired of being cold a whole week of mid 50s. It's finally, uh, what was, oh, 65 in the shop, so I can open things up here. Uh, for what it's worth, the replacement knife edge little guy came in and I can't find any error in it. I've checked parallel everywhere. I keep coming up with the same half tenth reading on the mic for what it's worth. Uh, put it on the granite plate and it just, there's no error in it. Luck of the draw, cherry. So, got to protect that guy. This is the first part one of a three-part series on um, a 3D printer. So like I did with the three axes CNC, part one is assembly, part two will be electrical, and part three will be software. Uh, this guy turned out to be way more involved and complicated than I thought. So again, remember, um, I haven't done this before. You're seeing it live as I'm learning how to do this. A lot of mistakes were made. So after you guys watch one, two, and three, this will have saved you guys hours and hours of research because stuff is just scattered to the wind. Little piece over here on this YouTube, little piece over there in this chat room crazy and I'm actually the only one in part two that's going to show you how to correct the motor. Nobody has it out there. So I hope you enjoy three parts. Uh, guy came from Banggood for $210. This is insane. So see you in part two. Voice is still kind of gone. Well, it took forever to get it. This should be the 3D printer box is kind of beat up a bit and I'm guessing this has got to be the top I don't want to open it upside down and I don't know how many part video this is going to be it's going to be like the three axis CNC you know I'll do part one putting it together two I don't know one on the other one was the electrical all right yeah. Completely unknown. Oh, this is going to be kind of fun here. To do. Oh, it looks like the packaging survived. Nice piece of foam. Whoa. All right. This is definitely going to be fun to put together. <laughs> Look at all these pieces here. Shoo. Uh, there should have been instructions on the top, and there's not. What is this? Oh, this has got to be the... Yeah, rails, lead screws, what's underneath. Can't hold it. the top open, but well packaged, well protected. Holy cow. I'm dropping some of it. Hey, a lot of stuff here to work with. Jesus. The same as the other high quality bearings. Yeah, there's bearings in there. So, a lot of water. Oh, wow. They even give you a flush mount. I wonder why you get this cutter. I used to use these a long time ago. They're pretty good cutters. Cables, <laughs> thumb cuts. Wow. And a plug that's for 220. Hopefully this is 110. Uh, knobs, okay, oh, that's the display. So, I guess instructions someplace, I don't know. It looks pretty good, there's a lot of parts and it looks like it's really high quality here. Whatever all these parts are, choose them. So this would be fun to put together, let's see what happens guys. Well, I can safely say step one is bring the vacuum cleaner over and vacuum every single part as you take it out because there's little pieces of styrofoam everywhere. So I got it kind of cleaned up. I'm looking at some of these edges. I might wind up. I don't see a little piece of styrofoam. It's going to be everywhere. 
it's kind of a crude edge but that would be a lot of time here to be um, sanding or whatever trying to clean that up so I'll probably just put it together as is one interesting thing that I did see when I took this part out is it's broken which I don't know how it got broken because that's that was down in a nice safe spot so I should be able to glue it or something put it together because uh, I'm not sure if you can get individual oh, this is lead screws get individual parts for it oh there goes the mic cord and the mic's all over the place let me just put it down so I'm not making all kinds of noise doing this come on cut there pretty nice lead screws I'll tell you that wow different pitches too uh, I'll get to the motors in a second here and yeah, no, no, no instructions in there, but I'm sure they have it online. PDF or something that I can print out. Wow, that's pretty tough to get off. There. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> yeah, and this must be the rods. And it's probably nice, high quality too, like the other ones were. Oh yeah, look at that. Jeez. And super nice. This is a big unit, guys. Looking at this base over here. This thing is going to be really big. Cut through it there. Wow. Crazy. Oh, oh, another rod side. Two more. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of parts to this. Look at this. Yeah, definitely going to need instructions for this. Six rods. And the motors are labeled here. They got Z motor, two Z motors. For it and yeah I had to vacuum these things <laughs> there's still stuff on it so I'm gonna bring the vacuum back over here very nice flexes flex couplings and there's the X motor and the Y motor and it's kind of interesting that they put them on I wonder why they pre-do it different depths too so I think they just throw it on there for packaging probably so that's where I am so far. I need to just go online now and see if I can find the manual and figure out where that's going to go and uh, how I'm going to fix that. The first thing I can tell you, well, here's the manual, 45 pages of it, PDF. You just search for, oh, I forgot the name, Annette or something, A6 3D printer. There's the full picture of this thing. $200. I can't believe this. This is great. Um, so i just keep this to the side so I can look at the picture to help figure out how to put it together. Shinier than all get out. So I recommend wearing gloves, which I'll be doing here shortly. Um, to keep fingerprints off of this thing. Um, with all the paper that's on this on both sides, I'm guessing this is an entire day's project just to remove the paper, especially when it wants to do this kind of number and rip. It's a pain. So this is going to take quite a while. I'm just taking it off of one side. I haven't even touched the other side yet, see? It just, wow. This is going to take a while. And if I have the rubber gloves on, I'm not going to be able to use my fingernails to scrape. I guess I'll have left hand, yeah, left hand with a glove to pick it up and do things and then the right hand to be able to scrape, but holy cow. Oh, and the manual to the PDF is color. So, so far, just kind of glancing through it, incredibly detailed. So, let's see what happens. Well, they do give you a tool, this is mine, but you get this guy, which I guess is reversible, but uh, and then they gave a baggie of this stuff, Phillips, cool wrench, right? And then you saw the pliers, the cutters. Um, so I'll just put all that to the side because I'm going to use my own stuff. First little gotcha was, <laughs> I didn't believe this, this guy, these things drop into the square holes here. And then I was thinking, really? I've got to put these, they tell you what screws here, three millimeter, 18 millimeter long. 
you gotta try to hold that and drop that in there no way then I realized it's the other way so what you have to do and it's not too it's, it's kind of easy but you take the nut and you hold your finger on both sides and you get the nut to sit flat and it like I said it's kind of easy uh, to do and then you get the screw underneath and hand spin it in and it goes in there so I've got three of them in there so far for one side and tighten down yeah you can see the screws are back here love to know how they cut this thing this is like wow square edges square corners it's no doubt CNC whatever it is whoever designed this thing so that's like the first little thing you know it's a pain still getting this paper off it helps if it's warm and it's not really warm in the shop right now it's winter time so it's freezing so onward and upward I guess yeah the instructions don't tell you that the nut goes on this side and the screw goes through this side so well two hours into it and it's going a little bit faster than I thought I can see why a lot of people put this thing together without even taking the paper off so um, because if you don't have fingernails you're screwed uh, bags are well labeled the instructions do tell you um, what you're going to use you know three millimeter by 18 millimeter long the back piece that was broken I used some epoxy to put it together and it seems to be holding nicely I'll contact the company for another part didn't take the paper off of it um, when you're putting this guy together you need to adjust it so that this rod is almost flush on the front and the back because you're going to put these little guys on here to keep it from coming out um, the lead screws were the finer pitch I thought it was the coarser pitch um, what else oh yeah pay attention to the length it's 380 millimeters which is almost 15 inches so it's the middle set of rods go in here, I believe, until I find out I did it wrong. Um, not much else going on. I'm getting better at putting these nuts in the little groove the slot to tighten it. Kind of just figured out, you know, putting piling up parts where they're going to be used uh, from the picture. And yeah, I guess so. Two hours, and it's onward and upward. Well, uh, <laughs> nine hours to just do the mechanical assembly. I've got another hour and a half just starting to do some of the electrical from their prints. The print, um, user manual, whatever, is fantastic, but as usual, incorrect. <laughs> not clear you know like you saw it showed these look like they went on the front the next picture obviously they go on the rear so um i'm not going to do a video on full assembly um so because it's already out there i'm going to put a link to a guy named david dan it's a silent video on assembling this unit and I think it's silent because I think he's from the factory so he probably just speaks Chinese only or something um, but my advice would be to watch his video all the way through before even starting this you'll spend about an hour and a half to watch all three parts <clears throat> um, even him I caught doing this limit switch I sat there and I held this in front of the screen which I had frozen and he was even putting it together wrong so he must have switched it around off camera to um, get it right and then install it because I saw it differently once he had it in there and spun the machine around doing the next job um, missing these things on machine them these guys kind of move too. This guy is too long, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, I can definitely see, you know, because the instructions didn't show at all how to attach this belt for the x axis to the head. 
uh, and his video shows how you do it. So I will definitely, and if you get one of these and you start making it, you'll see right away things that you're going to uh, machine better, make better. Power supply, make sure you throw the switch to 110 before you mount it because you can't get to the switch after you mount it. I'll spin it around so you can kind of see this wiring nightmare here. You get to the other side here, man. This is, there's wires all over the place. They do label them. Some of them I don't know. One of, there's two of these are for the head. I forgot what it was. Where's the print? They do give a nice electrical print, which I lost. Oh yeah, there it is. I'll bring it over. So it does give you a nice print of what to plug in where to that board. But there's an extruder thermistor and then a hotbed thermistor. I don't know which. The extruder thermistor, it does label. Where is it? It would be the top one here. So this one does say extruder thermistor, so I'm guessing this is the hotbed thermistor uh, or the fan. I don't see any wires coming off of this fan. So I may have to attempt. Well, since this does say extruder and nothing else, right? Yeah, yeah, STOP. What? E N S T O P in stop. I don't know what now that is. So I got some wiring to figure out. Um, there is an upgrade stuff. There's a website. I guess I'll put a link to it probably in the next video um, on upgrades. You know, fiberglass belts and different things for the hot to heat and bigger power supply. Sucker's 20 amps. I can't imagine you need more than that. But so um, next video probably maybe go over some of the wiring. But like I said, I'm not going to show every inch of everything here because um, it's already out there. So I guess I'll see you in the next video when I'm doing some wiring and probably some just checking and how to level things because I've seen videos on how to level this guy and one of them's absolutely wrong and the other one's doing it right so